Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a new installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. We have got 24 brand new tracks that I wanted to talk about. A ton of remixes because we're getting to the end of the year, and so there's just a lot more remixes. That's just how things go in the EDM world. And uh, yeah, let's hop into it with the bad category songs I thought are bad. Just remember, just my opinion, do not take it as gospel truth. Uh, we've got Good Boys with Future. Um... Yeah, Good Boys is back with their really basic slap house music, and uh, there's just nothing to this track at all, and that's how I feel about this one. Then we've got Pauline Her and John Casey featuring Rio Kragan with Shift, um, which I think is some, it's the third single from some upcoming, I don't know if it's an EP or an LP or I don't know what it is, but uh, something's coming out, I, I think, soon from both Pauline Her and, and John Casey here. But uh, yeah, pretty empty track in my opinion. I thought Rio's vocals were a little flat and the drops were also just a bit underwhelming. Uh, I had to listen to this track, honestly, a couple times to not zone it out. I just didn't really feel anything from this one, but... Uh, but that's it from bad. We're moving into the meh category songs that I think are uh, meh. We've got Eddie with Up and Down, uh, taking a lot more tracks on Hypnovision as of now, uh, Eddie is. And uh, yeah, pretty odd song for me that I never really felt like it went anywhere. It had a bit of a nice mid-tempo beat to it, but the track just kind of stayed like this the whole time. Uh, and I don't think Eddie succeeds well uh, in tracks that do that. Um, I think his dynamicism is where he succeeds. So um, yeah, ironically, I didn't think this track had many ups and downs. Then we've got OK and Sesqua, I think that's how you say it, Sesqua, uh, with Choppa's uh, Festival Trap that will absolutely slap at a festival or club. Uh, but otherwise, it's a bit of a flat listen, uh, which was also really interesting because I listened to the song both on really high professional grade quality speakers and then cheaper speakers. And um, like, obviously, the cheaper speakers, are, like, they're not going to sound as great, but it like sounds like significantly worse than other songs do on cheaper speakers. I don't know what it is about this track, but um, yeah, so I think it makes it a little bit less approachable for the average listener. And so, uh, yeah, I thought it was meh. Then we've got Armin Van Buren and Just Us with Make It Count. Uh, and what sounds like a kind of big room trance style track, um, there's really nothing too intriguing about this song. Uh, honestly, it sounds like Armin is kind of like trying to copy the recent success and tone of Enema with a kind of darker progressive sound uh, and how well and the numbers have been doing from, from Enema. And so I, it kind of sounds like it's kind of ripping off Enema. And I would say, don't do that. You've got your own sound. Then we've got Rosie with Don't Say, the Hex Cougar remix, a uh, simple festival trap remix from Hex Cougar. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary from him here. It's got your kind of pitched up squealing melody from the original track, which I thought was an improvement in my eyes, but um, otherwise it's kind of a standard, more basic trap remix. Uh, of an already trap song. So <laughs> and then we got The Knox and Sophie Tucker with One on One uh, for a commercial dance pop track. Um, it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's got a simple repetitive beat that's easy to get stuck in your head, which I think is what kind of all of those tracks kind of go for. So uh, not too bad. Then we got Nostalgics featuring Rico Nasty with War, the Chill remix. Um, fairly standard Speedhouse remix of a pretty average Nostalgics track. Um, nothing too special about the remix, but this is one of that just feels like very, very just middle of the line for me. Um, there's days that I feel like I could put this on and I'd be like, yes, I love this track. And some days I could put it on and be like, this is, I don't want to listen to this at all. So just a very in-between track for me. Then we've got Party Favor with Paradise, um, a more vocal-focused track uh, from Party Favor, which is uh, pretty abnormal for him, uh, as the, the beat is a little bit more, like, yeah, it, it's simple in both its melody and production, and uh, is just one that's a little bit more carefree, uh, one that I think is would do a little bit better maybe commercially for pa Party Favor, which maybe they're going for with this track, but um, yeah, one that is a style that I haven't quite heard from them, and so one that I, uh, I, I almost really liked. I'll put it that way. But then we're moving into the good category. We got 15 songs in good that I wanted to talk about this week. And we're starting out with Wolfgang Gartner featuring Scrifizer with Level Up, a fun video game centric track uh, that grew on me with each listen. At first, I didn't really love the simple beat and repetitive vocals, uh, but it had since grown on me quite a bit. And that was one of the tracks from this week that uh, really stuck in my head more than some of the other ones did. So I uh, like that one. Way to go. Then we've got Feed Me and Leo Leon with Heart on the Line, uh, a grittier Electro House track uh, with a kind of classic sounding vocals, which is very up Feed Me's alley. But uh, yeah, the track is pretty much just a kind of a wall of sound for just under four minutes um, with a heavy mix emphasis on that bass line, which I did thoroughly enjoy. So uh, solid track. 
Then we've got Aeon mode, which is blank uh, and latency with touch. Uh, laid back drum and bass tune with lots of room to kind of soak in on the whole track. Um, it's very much just a vibe of a track. It's like a wall of sound, but like it's a wall of presence, I would say, is this track. And where it just, it's just there the whole time without going too hard one way or another. And uh, it's just one that kind of just, just sit back and relax to and chill to. So I liked it. We got Fox Stevenson with "Love the Day," a uh, nice longer track with lots of vocals. Um, in yeah, I, some sections I thought they weren't the best vocal performances, uh, but still a solid D and B tune with another kind of just carefree tone to the whole thing, which is very much uh, Fox Stevenson's mo. So, uh, just another track, another great track from him. We've got Matt Zoe with Subsurface, a wickedly long electro track here, electro house track with, uh, I think it's over, I think it's seven minutes and, and, and 20 seconds, um, which is uh, awesome for me. Uh, I loved it. And um, despite its length, it had unique movements all throughout the track. And so it felt like it never felt like it was boring. Uh, it felt like it was really giving her the whole time. And so, um, yeah, a bit of a futuristic overtone too, which I enjoy quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, go listen to that one for sure. Then we've got Baskar and Afterclap with uh, Neo Se Parar, uh, the Moyo remix. I'm sure I butchered that a ton, but, uh, you know, I didn't think there was a ton happening on this track because it's kind of a more mellowed out Deep House mix, but the tone and atmosphere are really quite engaging. Um, I don't personally listen to a ton of, like, Brazilian or, like, Portuguese Spanish music, and um, this was just, like, it was great. Uh, I love the tonality and the atmosphere of it, and I thought it was um, simple but hit all the right buttons for me, so... A good track. Then we've got Tokyo Machine with the VIP of Far Out, uh, a pretty no-nonsense breaks remix of an original Hard Dance, and so it just made sense to go from a Hard Dance track to uh, the kind of standard breaks uh, style from Tokyo Machine, and so I think I like this version uh, better from the original. It's fast-paced, it's relentless, it's fun. Um, it just kind of puts it up a little notch from uh, the original, I think. So, way to go. We've got Cloud Nun with the Locked VIP. Um, in his own words, Cloud Nun said he took the slowest song from his album and turned it into an anthem. And I will say, hell yeah to that. Uh, I really love this version of the track. I feel like he's kind of explored the established tone from this track already and just kind of uh, added more depth to an already um, pretty deep track. And so uh, just with more movements uh, that were added into this track. And so I think it just kind of brings out more in it, I guess, best way to put it. So it's beautiful in a whole brand new way, and I liked it. We've got Slender and Nightmare with Monster, the boss fight remix. The Thrive remixes are out now from the Slander album that came back uh, way back in 2022. But um, yeah, this is uh, miles stronger than the original uh, boss fight. It's a little bit more reserved with his hard hits here, but makes for a stylistically incredible track. Um, this is a remix that I think is a perfect remix because it both sounds like a stronger rendition of the original, but also something that could sound like its own original single track from boss fight. And so uh, that's where I think remixes really excel when they can do both. We got Fred again and Baby Keem with Leave Me Alone. I've never really liked Baby Keem's vocal deliveries, and um, some of the bars here are pretty questionable, uh, but production wise, I think it's some of Fred again's best. Um, he rides a fine line between his slower. Uh, slowed down and like slowed and reverb, but not slowed and reverb versions, if that makes sense. Um, beats uh, and the kind of club bangers. So it's got his kind of two styles mashed into one with Baby Keem on there. So uh, I like that quite a bit. We've got Drinks On Me with Holden On. Uh, first of all, this is not an EDM track. I know this is this week in EDM, but um, Drinks On Me is normally an EDM kind of artist. But this is just like a cinematic orchestral piece with hints of electronic elements in it. But uh, yeah, regardless, it's beautiful. It's touching. I am a huge fan of this track, honestly. And I, I wasn't going to add it in this week, but I thought it was so good that I needed to talk about it. Then we've got Slushy with Turn It Up, the Slushy and Affinity VIP. This has got to be the biggest glow up of any remix VIP I have heard in the 2020s, I think, so far. I hated the original. I really did not like the original Turn It Up, um, which was on the ELE uh, Slushy album. I did not like it. But this remix is actually really good. Uh, it's essentially like a color-based VIP with bright and light synths to it, which is a far cry from the kind of crushing, painful melodies of the original. And uh, I just think this was, uh, yeah, in, in great through and through. And it's weird because Affinity and Slushy don't really do like this kind of pseudo color-based dubstep style. And it... Uh, it works. It just works. 
Then we've got Space Laces within the place, a super unique Space space Laces track, uh, tonally much happier and a jumpier track uh, than we've heard from Space Laces in the past, uh, slightly more emphasis, or slightly, sorry, slightly less emphasis on that kind of blown out bass line than he kind of... Uh, loves to put in a lot of his tracks, but um, don't be afraid. There's still his kind of signature bass growls on the drops and the heavy hits and the um, just like <laughs> crushing bass lines, but in a more reserved way, uh, which I liked a lot. I, I think his other stuff is a little bit better, but um, this is still a solid tune. And our runner-up track of the week is Cosmo's Midnight featuring Forrest Claudette with Borrowed Time. I think this is one of uh, Cosmo's best of the 2020s. Um, I love the songwriting. I love the vocals. I love the funky production. Um, there is so much going right for this track, and it hits in all the right ways uh, and is just a uh, like a quintessential Cosmo's Midnight track, I think. And finally, my favorite track of the week is Night Punk with Ending. Uh, Night Punk hitting the top of the list again uh, in 2023. And um, yeah, Night Punk just doesn't miss. The track is a mixture of his kind of hardcore breakbeat style and his more experimental atmospheric tunes. Um, the mixing is incredible as always, but in particular, the kind of drop sections are uh, pulled out a little bit to kind of give the sense of you being in a larger room uh, with, my, with Night Punk and listening to this track. And so it makes a bit for a, uh, yeah, a more full intimate listening experience i would say so uh but yeah that has been this week in edm let me know what you think of any and all tracks in the comment section below but other than that i'm dakota from Botan media and i'll see you guys in another video